After a double-stranded break event in the DNA double helix, some SS DNA remains at the point of the break. A heterodimer of KU70 and KU80 binds to the broken DNA ends. KU70 and KU80 have similar topology and form a heteroduplex that encircles the DNA duplex on either side of the double-strand break. They recruit the kinase DNA PKCS, which is a DNA protein kinase catalytic subunit. This kinase is recruited by KU in order to phosphorylate DNA repair proteins. The DNA PKCS recruits the protein Artemis and forms a complex. The DNA PKCS phosphorylates Artemis in order to initiate exonuclease activity. The Artemis DNA PKCS complex has both 3' and 5' endonuclease activity, so the complex is able to endonucleotically cut a variety of types of damaged DNA overhangs. DNA PKCS preferably removes any 5' single-stranded overhangs to generate a blunt DNA end. Finally, a complex of ligase 4 and XRCC4 XLF are recruited to the site of the double-stranded break. The DNA PKCS phosphorylates the ligase 4 complex once phosphorylated. The DNA ligase 4 joins the broken ends together. XRCC4, in conjunction with ligase 4, catalyzes the ligation of bonds between the broken bases. After the bases are joined in continuous DNA strands, the DNA PKCS phosphorylates itself to dissociate the complex. The remaining proteins dissociate and leave a continuous DNA strand. However, due to the recession of single-stranded DNA, the repaired DNA is not identical to the DNA before the double-stranded break.